In Jefferson High School, 300 students study French or Spanish or both. Well, what that seems to imply is that there's no possibility for the students to stu study neither French nor Spanish. So we'll go ahead and put a zero in these boxes. If 100 of these students do not study French, then how many of these students study both French and Spanish? So what we're trying to do is figure out the box on the upper right, the box on the upper left right here. So statement number one tells us of those 300 students, 60 do not study Spanish. Well, if 60 do not study Spanish, that means 240 do study Spanish. If 100 do not study French, that tells us 200 do study French. Well, then if we start figuring out the sums in the rows, it becomes very easy to see that there are 140 studying both Spanish and French. So statement number one does allow us to answer this question. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two tells us a total of 240 people do study Spanish. Well, in a way, that is almost a recycling of the information they give us in statement number one, because again, that allows us to fill out this, this column on the right immediately. We also have this. And then again, we start summing across rows, summing across columns. We're able to deduce that there are 140 who study both Spanish and French. So statement number two by itself is sufficient. What I ran through very quickly here is something called the double matrix method. And if this is something that is unfamiliar to you, I recommend checking out magush.com. Magush.com has a couple hundred videos to help prepare you for G GMAT math, as well as several more to help you with GMAT verbal, including videos that will explain in detail the double matrix method. So statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice D.